I want to go over some pentatonic licks for those of you who already know the scale, at least in the home position. The home position meaning, if we're on fret 5 in A minor, so that position that most of you are familiar with if you've ever studied the pentatonic scale. But what we're going to do today is extend it a little bit, starting back two frets. And we're going to go from the lowered seventh up to the root, which is A. And then to the fifth string, we're going to go from C to D. It's still centered around A. Just remember that if you're soloing in an A tonality, always remember to keep in mind where the root is. There is a lot you can do with the five notes that are in the pentatonic scale. So the first thing I want you to do is get into your home position, A minor, play up one octave. Preferably down and up picking. Then I'm going to want you to back up into that position I showed you before, which I call the drop position. As you can see, we're going from the drop position up two frets. So basically, G A C D D E G A. And then we're going to go up one more string and do a resolution from above the root. We're going to go up to D, down to C, land on A. Now the tricky part is reversing directions. Right there, so down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You get to this part where you have to jump strings, you can move forward. I think at Berkeley they call that like the horn technique where you're or the roll technique. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven notes. So that takes us from position three up to position five or the lower dropped pentatonic position up into the home position. Now we're going to move into position two of the pentatonic. I'm not going to teach you that right now. I'm going to show you how to move into it. Being that we're not starting on string six or string five, we're, I'm going to forgo showing you that pattern in lieu of showing you how to get up eventually to eighth position. So after this, what I did was after the drop, I'm going to go G A C D D E G A C D D E. You can pick or hammer. And then we're going to move up one more position and go to GA again. So what we did was started with GA and ended up on the octave above with G and A. We're almost done. So we had. We're going to finish with the same idea. And that's the beauty of scales on any instrument. You have octaves to play with. You're not always playing in one octave because that would get really tedious after a while. A 
it's one thing to play it, but it's another thing to keep the notes quiet. One thing that beginning soloists tend to do is have a lot of noise going on while they're playing from other strings. Try not to do that. Try really hard not to do that. So mute. And then you can start to add slurs so you can get a little bit of speed. One more time going up. 